In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 5 from experience 10. A political candidate has asked you to conduct a poll to determine what percentage of people support her. If the candidate only wants a 1% margin of error at a 90% confidence level, what size of sample is needed? Give your answer in whole people. We use the formula for finding the minimum sample size. Formula may use a previous estimate, but when no previous estimate is given, as in this case, we use 0.25 times the critical value divided by the margin of error all squared. Now the critical value depends on the confidence level. In this case, the confidence level is 90%. That marks off the area in the middle. With 90% in the middle, that leaves 10% for the two tails. By symmetry, we know that the left tail is then 5%, or 0.05. The area to the left of that line is 0.05, we can then find the critical value. But keep in mind, when you're calculating margin of error, typically use the positive critical value, but here we'll be squaring it so it doesn't matter. We use the uh, distribution found in the distribution menu, second vars, and this is the normal distribution, and we put in 0.05. and divide by the margin of error, which is always written as a decimal. So 1% would be 0 0.01. And then that is all squared. The 0.25 is not squared, just the part in parentheses. And this is always rounded up. It rounds up normally here because of the 8 in the tenths place. But when finding minimum sample size, always round up. So 67, 64. Using the spreadsheet given in the resources menu, scroll down to calculating sample size. Put in the confidence level, 0.9. The proportion of successes, when it's not known, just use 0.5. Then the margin of error has to be put in as 0.01, 1%. So margin of error should be formatted as an input. And we see 67, 64 there as well.